See, sometimes I'm puzzled. Uh, I, I'm not sure which glass to have with that beer. Because it's called Truma Pils, it's called a Pils Bock, or Imperial Pilsner. So it's quite a strong Pilsner beer, uh, it's 7.5 ABV, uh, it's more like a Bock beer, but uh, the hopping and the dry hopping is more uh, like a strong Bock beer. And you'll see from the glasses, you get completely different impressions of that beer. See? Now, of course, the different glasses give you a different impression. Like, uh, this is a Pilsner glass. So, supposedly, this will smell like a Pilsner, and it does. You get a lot of fruity, hoppy aromas here. Here in that one, we got lots of caramel as well, so there's a sweet perception. The same holds true when you sample the beers. Beer from that glass is much sweeter than that one. Of course, you have your prejudice. Your prejudice say, well, if it's a slim glass, it's, it's supposed to be a slim beer. If it's a rounded glass, it's a rounded, full-bodied beer. But, um, but of course, there's, there's more to it. Uh, like from this cylindrical glass, that's, that's like a torpedo into your nose. It's, it's a very different aroma. It's also like forming with your mouth, your lips. Uh, and here the lips will be much rounder, so there's more sweetness, there's more, more, more full-bodiedness in this one. So if you say this is a Pilsbock, an Imperial Pilsner, well, this glass gives it more of a, uh, of a Bocky style, and this gives it more of a, of a Pilsner style. And if you take a beer from the bottle, that's almost like like sweet candy. It gives you much more uh, of a fruity candy. And so, so we have, uh, like here, we have three different beers. Um, and, and, and they're all good. Like this, this sweet one, this German box style, very good beer. Uh, here you have this, this Pilsner style beer, very dangerous because it's so easy drinking. And uh, maybe drink it from the bottle. Well, that's the kind of beer that you drink uh, casually, like very easy drinking. Again, very dangerous because you don't feel that it's 7.5 ABV. And of course, in, in food pairing, it'd also be like um, very different what, what, uh, what kind of, of, of food you want to have with that, because here you could go for maybe a carpaccio, and here you go for, for a traditional uh, German pork, and uh, well, well, no food with that one, just enjoyment, enjoyment. And enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. It's, it's just a fabulous beer, with very, very different characters uh, in the way you can enjoy it. And enjoy that beer and, and see you next week for another Conrad Seidel's Beer of the Week. Mm.